What is going on guys and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to extend on my streetwear trends and I last did workwear and I rated some outfits and I'm going to do that again today. But we're going to focus on one item of clothing and that is tactical vests. So tactical vests are probably the most like military grade thing you're going to get when it comes to streetwear. Besides cargoes of course, military vests and tactical vests in general kind of have a very urban tech wear and military wear sort of vibe to them. However they can be incorporated into a number of different outfits and a number of different styles. They work kind of well with most styles and if you can pull it off you can pull it off quite well. It just depends on the style that you have and your sort of wardrobe and if you can incorporate it then it's great. I mean with different styles you'll get different ways of styling it and you'll get different types of tactical vests. So for example when it comes to tech wear you'll get a bit more high tech, tech savvy vests. They tend to have a lot more pockets and, and just generally look a bit more military grade. You can incorporate it into a sort of skate wear sort of look where you have like a wide leg trouser, some skate shoes and like a, the, the, a hoodie with the vest over the top. Just kind of works really well and kind of bumps up the outfit a little bit more, makes it a little bit more interesting. These tactical vests seem like typically seem to be more like fishing vests, so you have fewer pockets, you'll probably have like three or four on there, and they're a lot simpler, usually like a cargo vest. Then you've got like the high-end look, and that means you're gonna have a lot more high-end pieces in the outfit, and the jacket might be made out of leather or a nicer different material. A lot more simpler, a lot, a lot cleaner, and like the, the fit seems to be a little bit better on these and a bit slimmer and just fits the body, usually wearing them with like a t-shirt underneath or I've seen people wear shirts and it works really well. But mostly you're going to see them with like cropped trousers, straight leg trousers, a couple of like high-end sneakers or like Oswego's or something. And just generally having that sort of refined look about the outfit. So some of the best places to get them can range from eBay to pretty much most high-end designers. I know Supreme did one this season, it's not released yet, but that's kind of what gave me the idea for this. When I saw it in the lookbook, I fell in love with it. It's probably one of my favorite pieces, but I'm not gonna spend the 120 pounds that I know that jacket is going to cost me and I'd rather just get a cheaper alternative. I've actually ordered one from eBay, it's coming in on the way and I'll feature that in an affordable streetwear video. Um, that cost me £12.50 from Korea so I'm hardly going to say no if it doesn't fit, it's not a big deal if it doesn't look great. However, I will do a video about it and tell you some good places to get it. You can also try pretty much any military wear store, very very good, just finding those. They're, they pretty much every single store has it. You can have a look for fishing vests or like airsoft vests. If you're going for the tech wear vibe, obviously go for the airsoft vests. If you're going for everything else, go for fishing vests because they just seem to work a little bit nicer with everything else. Obviously places like Military First will do them and then you can go to other places as well like Carhartt and Dickies, they do kind of vests. They're not very tactical but they do have that sort of vest about them and it's just like a, it's like a gilet without the padding. So that, that kind of works well and I really like that look. If you can pull it off, that kind of caters to more the skate wear and the high end look rather than tech wear. So I think I'm going to get into some of the outfits now. I'm going to talk about a few different looks and how they've done it. Say what I like about the outfit and what I'd improve and then we'll run from there. First up, we've got someone who I can't really say your name, um, but I'll have a go at it if I butcher it, I'm really sorry. But it is Danny, Sin Danny Sinarola. I'm just gonna call you Danny because it's just shortened. Um, Danny's done this, this outfit is really, really nice. I really, really like it. He's just got a zip up fleece in navy with the tactical vest over the top. I really like the color combo. I think it works really well, which navy and black really doesn't tend to work well, unless you can um, pull it off. And he has here definitely, he's pulled it off very, very nicely. The nice pocket on the side of the actual fleece adds another detail into the outfit. It kind of complements the tactical vest in general and it looks really, really nice. And I really like how that looks. It fits very well. And you can see he's just kind of got it resting, unzipped. I prefer it unzipped because it's open. It just shows off the actual rest of the outfit and you don't you know when you're wearing a tactical vest it's going to be the main piece and I think this is very very nice this outfit I can't really see what's on the bottom um, because he hasn't shown that in the photo however I do really like it and it works very very well he also posted another photo with a tactical vest and this one I like but I just don't think it works as well as the one with the fleece again I think the top half is really good the black t-shirt complements the vest again and they kind of complement each other and it looks work, it works really well I do like it when people wear the vest with a short sleeve shirt do have to kind of have like a, a, a decent build about you you can't be skinny and wear that it doesn't work well and the vest isn't going to really drown the outfit and drown his body type in general the only thing I really don't like about this is the color of the trousers I like the fact that they contrast stitch and I think that looks amazing however I just think they're a bit washed out and they're a bit like a dark gray if it was a black it'd work a lot better I think and it would complement the rest of the outfit very well and maintain that black and white theme throughout and I love the fact that you have a pair of red converse one stars on they work exceptionally in this they pop out completely they're the first thing you notice when you look at the outfit and I just think the outfit in general just kind of they all complement each other just the only thing that I think would make it very very good is having a black trouser instead of like a dark grey. 
So up next is Harvey, and this fit is very, very nice. This kind of follows the sort of streetwear, skatewear sort of vibe going on. I really like it. He's got a Maharishi tactical vest from 1999, so a vintage piece. I have to say, Maharishi are very, very good for tactical vests and that sort of style in general. So as I said earlier with the skatewear sort of vibe, this is what exactly what I was talking about. He's got a hoodie on underneath, and the graphic in the middle kind of just shows through the tactical vest. I really like it. I think the tactical vest is olive, which works really well with the white hoodie, and they kind of complement each other and he's wearing a pair of black Dickies 873s which I prefer over the 872s now and I think they work really well with the overall bulky outfit and work perfectly with the black Oswegos. They are the full winter 17 pair I think, especially in this outfit in general it works really nicely and the slight cuff on them and they're kind of cropped because he's cuffed them kind of just sit just above the shoe and that works very well kind of makes him a lot taller. Um, I don't know how tall he is but if you are a bit shorter and you do kind of have your jeans or trousers sitting just above the shoe, it makes you look taller. Just a very standard clean fit. I really like it, it works really well. The only thing that I would change is maybe have a different colored tactical vest, maybe go for black, because it might work a little bit better with the black trousers. However, I just think this outfit is very clean and balanced. Like, the colors are very balanced throughout, and I really like that. Up next is Dan Rainbird, who is an admin of the basement, I think, or a moderator, I think he's an admin, don't ban me. And he's posted probably the most techwear inspired fit. I really like this. It works really well, even though it really shouldn't, because you look like you're part of the army, but I guess that's kind of the outfit and style you're going for. The tactical vest he's wearing has got a million pockets. It looks so good with this fit. He's got a pair of cropped cargoes, which just work really well. And I think they just they just sit very nicely. I think he's got a pair of Y3 shoes there. Um, I think they're the Quasi Highs, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but they just complement obviously with the cropped and the cropped cargoes with the shoes works really well, kind of bringing that Japanese techwear style and that Y3 Yoji Yamamoto style. I really like that. The hoodie or sweatshirt he's wearing has got like a half face cover. I can't remember what it's called, like a balaclava kind of, like half balaclava that goes up to the top of his nose and just gives off that ninja, like dark ninja vibe throughout. Really, really nice. The whole black outfit works really well and the pockets on the tactical vest kind of really pop out and they work really really nicely and working with the cargoes as well you kind of get that constant vibe of always ready and that's what techwear is i think he's nailed techwear on a, on like on the head here so good works really well no, there's not much i'd change maybe have like the cargoes a little bit lower i think they're a tiny tiny bit too cropped just a very small bit but if you're going for that look, then it works very well. Up next is Josh, and this is this kind of outfit is more of the high-end skatewear sort of look. So he's got wearing a beanie, fisherman beanie that kind of just sits above the ears and looks really cool. An olive tactical vest again, which he actually didn't buy. So I kind of he says he says he regrets picking it up. So I'm gonna have to say you should have bought it. You really should have. A black t-shirt underneath and a pair of cropped trousers with I think they are a pair of Velcro rafts, but they're a pair of white trainers with Velcros across. I think they're the Velcro raff Adidas stand. Stan Smiths and they work very well in this outfit. So of course if this didn't have the tactical vest it'd be a plain black t-shirt with a pair of tapered cropped uh, trousers with a pair of uh, white trainers and that outfit just works very well throughout every single thing. It's just a very clean outfit and if you get the silhouettes right on the different items and the different pieces then the outfit will balance out very nicely and will work very very well. I think the colours in this outfit work very very well and obviously with the white trainers they pop throughout the entire outfit. First thing you notice are the white trainers. Um, I think the olive tactical vest again works very very well and contrasts with the black outfit. Very very nice fit. The only thing I'm maybe change is wearing like a sweatshirt underneath it or a long sleeve t-shirt. Um, the sleeves are a bit short on that t-shirt so I think maybe even a longer sleeve t-shirt that goes maybe halfway down would look a lot better. It just kind of looks like it's being almost drowned slightly in the uh, tactical vest or being pulled up like like that up the arm um, by the tactical vest so I think that having like a longer sleeve would work a lot better and look a lot nicer however I do think the entire outfit works exceptional and a very very nice fit, fit thank you Josh for posting that in the comments again we've got another fit which kind of has that skatewear vibe and the colour colours on this work really really well this is sent in by Ludo he's wearing a orange stussy hoodie I think that is with a pair of 874 Dickies in dark grey with a pair of Vans Authentics and then a tactical vest over the hoodie. The Vans Authentics, I think they're like contrast stitch. I think they're either the undercover ones or the Gosha, Gosha collab ones, I'm not too sure. I think this outfit is very well balanced. I like the colours on it. I just think that the trousers could be changed out for a black pair and it'd work a lot better, keeping that unison of black and orange throughout. Um, the grey trousers fit very nicely and they look very, very nice. I really like them. Um, the tactical vest isn't over the top and it just works really well and the orange hoodie complements the black very nicely. I think they're two colours that work very well together, as is proven when the V-Lone uh, Air Force Ones 
But overall, I think this outfit is very, very nice, very clean, fits you perfectly, kind of got that oversized hoodie, which works really well. And, but the only thing I changed is maybe the black trousers, and I think they'd look a lot better if they were black. Now, these final two fits are probably the most typical tactical vest fits, and they come with like camo cargos. People typically do wear like military bottoms and then like a tactical vest on top. It just kind of complements well, and it works well, and it's a very good and easy outfit to like create. So first, first up, we've got Ben, and this outfit is very, very nice actually. The cargos have a very nice taper to them, and they fit perfectly. The T ends are so good because he's wearing a black Metallica hoodie. I think, I don't know which word that is. He's got a beanie with the hood up and it just looks very nice. Um, wear a pair of TNs which are black and green and the tactical vest is green and I think that the colours on the TNs match perfectly with the hoodie and the uh, tactical vest and that works so well. I really like it when people colour coordinate like that. It works exceptionally. Um, the only thing I'd maybe change about this is the actual cargoes. I think if they were black, again, it worked really well. I just, I like, I like black cargoes a lot more than ca camo cargoes at the moment. I just think that it, that it had its phase and I just think that it could be, it'd work better if the cargoes were black and maybe even pair, they just, they just work better, I think, in general. However, this fit is so, is, is so clean. I really like it. Very, very, very nice colour coordination throughout with the shoes and the hoodie and the, the, the vest. Very, very nice. The vest isn't over the top, it just it just works with the outfit very well and I have to say, big props to you Ben, I love this outfit. And finally, this was posted on the comments by someone else as his friend. So Dylan posted it for Josh. So Josh is wearing a Supreme side bag, which I'm not a huge fan of, I just think it kind of bulks out the outfit a little bit more and I think a smaller bag or no bag at all would work better. He's got a M plus RC Noir reversible tactical vest with the snow camo on the inside and a pair of snow camo cargos. The colour coordination throughout this is amazing. I love this, it, it works really well and the black hoodie um, matches with the tactical vest and then the camo matches with the camo. So good, very very clean fit. I think that I don't really know what shoes he's got on, but if you had a pair of black TNs or a black, uh, just an all black trainer, this would work very very well. I really like this outfit. The only thing I would change is taking out the bag. Maybe have a smaller bag or um, like a defect bag um, by Reese Cox. I really like though that his like bags that he did. They kind of got that military vibe. And if that was worked in on this outfit, I think that'd work a lot better than the Supreme fanny pack. However, this outfit has great color coordination again, and a lot of people know how to color coordinate when it comes to tactical vests. So big props to everyone who who posted a comment on here. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I've made a two really bad videos last week and um, I just wanted to bring myself back up again and actually make some good content again because I felt like the last two videos lacked quite a bit. I am still trying to reach 300 subscribers by my birthday which is the 18th of April so if we can reach 300 subs by the 18th thank you so much it'll be a great birthday present. Thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next video. Um, see you later guys.